Corning Cable Systems is excited about the launch of the innovative CCH pigtailed cassette. Prepping and routing a splice tray is one of the most challenging components regarding fusion splicing. With splicing in the enterprise space currently on the rise, Corning designed a splice tray that is intuitive and user friendly. The CCH pigtailed splice cassette reduces overall installation time while minimizing errors and reworks dramatically. The CCH pigtailed splicing cassettes are designed for individual or ribbon pigtails and includes the appropriate number and type of heat shrink protectors. When the incoming fiber is 250 micron, as in most cases, this design enables the best core alignment and estimation technology in the industry today. Additionally, it takes up less space and is easier to route. The two meter pigtailed assembly has 900 micron at the connector panel for added durability. Each CCH pigtailed splice cassette will arrive from the factory with the heat shrink organizer in the correct orientation. The orientation of the heat shrink organizer will be dependent on the part number. Contingent on the application, simply flex and rotate the heat shrink organizer 90 degrees for the correct orientation. When working with fiber optics, be sure to wear approved safety glasses and gloves. When prepping incoming cable utilizing tight buffered or loose tube cable, the strip length for the CCH 01U, 2U, and 3U is 110 inches, and the CCH 04U is 130 inches. For splicing preparation in the CCH pigtailed cassette, strip back 48 inches of buffer tube or tight buffered fiber to exposed fiber. The next step is to open the pigtailed splice cassette. Remove the Lexan cover by applying a slight bend. Using a tie wrap, securely strain relief the end of the exposed tube or cable to the splice tray portion of the cassette. To avoid damaging the fiber inside the tube, use caution when securing the tie wraps. Fold the fiber over into the cassette. Next, simply route the fiber in the opposite direction from the 2 meter pigtailed assembly to preferred length. This can vary depending on the splice technician. The splice tray portion of the pigtailed cassette has molded in illustrations to facilitate routing. Once the fiber has been routed and cut to length, place the Lexan cover back into its original position by applying a slight bend. The cover should be able to open and close freely without any hesitation. The last step is to utilize the built-in slack management on the bottom side of the pigtailed cassette. Loop and store up to 38 inches of cable or buffer tube slack under the flanges with an S-shaped bend or half figure eight. If you are splicing multiple cables or 24 fiber cables, CCS recommends using the braided tubing to protect the tight buffered fibers. Reference the Corning Cable Systems recommended procedure 003-931 for further guidance. Many of our fiber optic hardware products are highly configurable. As with everything we have done with the CCH product line, a full complement of instructional videos, intuitive instructions, personal sales support, and an entire technical staff is at your disposal to ensure you have all the tools and resources you need. That's it. If you have any questions or recommendations, call us or send us an email at cablesystems at corning.com. Thank you for continuing to support Corning as we continue to launch innovative products together.